Hey everybody, welcome back to Embered and welcome back to Embered Font Engine. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to keep working with true type fonts using the Embered font engine. The last video I talked a little bit about it and gave you guys a few suggestions of what you can do. In this video, we're going to take it a little bit further. With the font engine, I just pulled up this font and I'm kind of looking at it going, hmm, that looks pretty good just like this, but flip into the, the 3D and you, that'll give you a good idea. I see some problems. So what do you guys think the problem is? I'm going to say small stitches. So let's go in and look. Let's, I mean, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. How about let's check our density and see, Hmm, that's a dead giveaway. That is probably way too much red in there. And you can see where the problem is on the curly parts. They're too close together. Um, and it's not going to help too much. And you can see this too on the x-ray. You can see the parts. So let's try solution one that we came up with in the other video and make it a little bit bigger. And let's see if that solves the problem. It might, it might not. Mm, that still, that looks okay. Let's see the density map. Still having problems with some of these curlies and some of the letters. Let's go back to normal and it still looks okay and I do like that it did closest join that's really nice let's go to the 3d and see now I can see some of the problems probably like in this R so what I'd like to do is take my measuring tool and I want to measure the stitch right here because I think it's a problem yes and the problem is the stitch is under a millimeter so any stitches that are under a millimeter same with these curly cues too i bet you we'd uh, find that go back here let's zoom in because it's actually hard to see now these were showing up red so let's see why yeah well that's not even a half a millimeter that's not big enough that's not big enough so if you can make this bigger that would work um if you can't because it's kind of uh fitting in a four by four hoop right now so we can't actually make it a little bit bigger and use our four by four hoop what can you do well let's go in and do some editing so everywhere that you see that the stitch stitches are less than a millimeter you need to to go in and fix them so let's do that so select the letter that you want because each letter is separate and go in here and all you have to do let's zoom right in is I'm gonna move this up you have to be careful that you don't change the style of the lettering like you can't put it up here and make it thick like that because that changes the style and this R won't fit in but you can tweak a little bit to and still keep you know the pretty style of the font i know the font goes thin in there it, it won't be able to be as thin as you want and down in the swirlies remember we looked for that so you can make the swirly bits just carefully moving everything just a little bit just to make sure we get a nice curve you could actually remove some of these nodes if you wanted it to so we could have a nice smooth curve in there and uh, there you go let's try that let's generate those stitches and let's go into the 3d and that's looking a little bit better we still might have to do more so I'm on my measuring tool here to here one dip yep. so that is going to stitch out much better and uh, you could do it I think all these swirlies let's do another one I think all of these swirlies let's look at it again let's go to density map see it's there this is a little bit better you know you could stretch it out a little bit the rest of it you can see that's great I did fix the swirly so let's try fixing this one I don't think the other one has any problems other than perhaps up here but a little bit of red doesn't hurt that's what happening that's what happens with letters so don't try to get rid of all of the red just the heavily you know marked parts that you can work on like this O is going to need a little bit of work it's not bad letters are going to show up with red no matter what you do so it's not an issue that's not what I'm saying 
um, let's see, let's go to normal because I can see better. And you can see that this is, you know, this is kind of small. So let's make it bigger like we did with the other one and see if we can solve it a little bit so it'll stitch out and look a little bit better at the size that we want. Now you can, again, go delete some of them if you want to have a nice smooth curve because that kind of sucks right there. And this one, let's try doing it. Let's delete and then make our curve. And you have where it was before. So you can, you know, fiddle around, fiddle around. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to move this one out. And this is hopefully going to make the whole thing a little bit better. You don't have to have the detail of it coming around more than once because it's not going to show up and we can see that it's not going to show up. So let's try that. You can use, it's very handy to use your measure tool right here. So one and one and 93, not enough. So you can see how easy it is to fix it. It's a bit tedious and it's going to take you a few minutes of time. But if you really want the font uh, at this size, then that's what you need to do. And it's it's easy to do. And if you don't have a book written, it's well worth the time to to do it. Um, so you can use any font that you want. Let's try this. And let's take our measure tool and measure this one again that we're working on. There we go. Almost, I guess that's close enough. So that is now going to stitch out better. So if you can't make it any bigger, go through and pick your nodes and make them, uh, you know, wider so they are more than a millimeter. Now you can see I did the R and I did the B. Can you tell the difference here? No, because I was careful about it. I could make this part a bit longer. And I still kept with the style of the font, so it still looks fantastic. And nobody will know. They will just know that your design, your lettering stitched out perfectly. So that's it for today. Hopefully you guys can use your font engine fonts and tweak them a little bit so you can use them on any design. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to let me know that you want more Embered videos just like this. I will stitch you later in the next video. Bye-bye.